welcome to ability decoding this is the analytic functions video series in sql server so in this video series we are talking about eight analytic functions in sql server so those are cube disk percentage rank first value last value lead lag percentiles count and percentile disk i will create single separate video for each of those functions so basically analytic functions in sql server operate on the set of rows those functions sit in a group of rows that can be further analyzed today i am discuss only this function cum disk as per uh, sql server official documentation the cum disk functions is used to find the cumulative distribution of a value among the group of values okay so this is the specific result sets this function create a separate column based on those result sets okay how to calculate those value this is the main goal of our uh, this video series so how to work these functions so basically these values are in between 0 to 1 that means the range of value written by this function that means cum disk is greater than 0 and less than or equals to 1.0 and the syntax of this specific function is cumulative disk that means cum disk and this function doesn't take any parameter that's why it's a null parameter functions and we are using over and this over clause taking two things as a parameter first is parameter partition by clause and order by clause so partition by clause is optional for these functions basically the formula of this cumulative distribution function is that it will divide the row number by total number of rows this first record sets row number is one and i am divided this one by 12 so 12 what is 12 12 is the total number of rows in this particular record sets so 1 divided by 12 we will get this particular value okay so just i am go to my sql server i will explain all those things in very great detail so just close my presentations and i am just go to my sql server window so in a sql server window you can see this uh, i have a sample table that means bikes table so these bikes tables belongs to this database db samples so basically i am putting six column within this table and those six column represent a bike name who is the manufacturer of this bike and the model number of this bike and in which year those bikes are launched and the price of this bike and the type of these bikes so if i am execute these functions you always you obviously know that this cumulative disk function obviously create a separate row and this cumulative disk function calculate the value of this particular row so how to calculate this value so basically you can see this partition i am using partition by type that means this total record set divided by two partitions that means first partition is normal type of bike and the second partition after the seventh row we will see that there is the another partition so two record sets are created so what are the maximum row number of each record sets that means if i am looking this first record set that i am not selecting the maximum row number is seven and if i am looking for next record set that means the maximum row number is one two three four five there is a for total number of row is five uh, just uh, just i'm open my calculator so type in cal c okay so this calculator i'm using to calculate those specific value how to calculate this so first result set have a seven number of rows so i will define the row number divided by total number of rows so one number of the if i am looking the first row the uh, the row number of this particular first row is one so one divided by the total number of row of the first record sets because i am using partition by type the, in first record sets the maximum row number is seven so i am divided by seven so when i uh, calculate this divide value i am getting 0 0.14 and this value is nothing but this value okay now i am calculating second row in that case i am divided two divided by seven third row in that case i am divided three divided by seven okay so just to show you three divided by seven 
equals to 0.42 that means you can see this 0 0.4285 0 0.8285714714 that the exact value okay if i am looking this fourth column you can see this there is a 20000 value applicable for two rows that means in that case if i am divided these things the number of row is four and i am dividing this number of records is seven and what i am get i am getting 0 0.57 but in this particular fourth row the value is different 0 0.714 but at the calculation i am getting 0 0.57 so there is a wrong no there is no wrong whenever we found same value that means in which we are using this order by clause in in my query i am using order by clause on this price so that's why the results are displayed based on this price column obviously so in that case we are using max row number of this particular same price that means two rows uh, both are have same price that means in that case i am using row number five so i just divided five i just use five uh, so i just use five divided by number of rows is seven of first record sets and we are getting this value 0 0.714 so exactly this value the, the row number four and row number five price values are same so we are calculating the max row number of the same price value that means five and we are dividing five divided by number of rows the in my case is seven and we are getting this value and we are applying this value in between all those rows both have uh, those have same price value okay so this is the basically uh, cumulative distribution functions and we are applying uh, uh, not only for this uh, partition by clause we can also remove this partition by clause and uh, if i am remove uh, partition by clause in this case uh, the, all the record of the specific table will be treated as a single record sets and we are executing this and this so in this case the total number of row is 12 and if i am ca calculating this price in that case uh, just open uh, sorry for closing this calculator okay so just uh, first row is 1 and divided by 12 okay is 0 0.83 okay and we are, we just look for the same value that means 2000 uh, uh, the row number 5 and row number 527 both are have same value because we are dividing 7 by 12 so the max number of row is 7 and same price values are there in that case we are dividing 7 and total number of row is 12 so 7 divided by 12 sorry 7 divided by 12 okay so we are getting 0 0.58 and th this this value is applied for all those rows those have same price value whenever you apply order by clause on your particular column in that case it will be manipulated if you have any query regarding this particular video or if you have any query regarding this analytic function how to operate on those things just feel free to put into the comment box and uh, thank you for watching this video have a good day